What's going on guys, Clive from carcollector.co.uk and in today's video I have got an awesome PSA return that I recently got back. So within this return there are cards from a first edition base set booster pack. There's the entire Japanese Southern Islands set. Uh, I've also got some cards from Unbroken Bonds and also one of my favourite Pikachu artworks of all time. So make sure you stay tuned, check it out, let me know what you think of the grades in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe and if you like more of these videos I have got a ton of cards still waiting to come back from DSA. so stay tuned. Okay, so here we go guys, the cards are out of their box, sent from PSA to Graded Gem, back to me. As I say, absolute buzzing, it's been a long year waiting for these cards, as with everybody else, eagerly anticipating getting them back. So, um, first of all, just to show you very kindly, when, when PokerRev sent the packs out, presented them in a nice little way, so we've got this little souvenir to show, but here we go. So. What I've done is had my uh, my wife sort them out. As I say, within this PSA return, I had a couple from Unbroken Bonds. I've got a random uh, Japanese McDonald's Pikachu promo, which I'm very excited about. Absolutely love that, uh, that artwork. I think you're gonna love it too. Uh, then this stack here, we've got um, Japanese uh, Southern Islands, the whole set. So that was a nice little pickup that I did. And then this stack on the right, we've got the first edition booster. So here we go. Let's start off with the uh, some of these cards from Unbroken Bonds. So starting off, we have got the Mint Nine, Marshadow and Machamp. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's bring that a little bit closer. These are quite hard to grade in a ten, just because the board. If you see that the board is around the edge of the card, it makes it a little bit um, difficult to get the centering you know, spot on to get a 10, but decent start. Okay, there's that first one. Up next, we've got Electromagnetic Radar, another nine. Not bad at all, not bad. Probably a centering on this. So no, I don't see any whitening. It's, it must be the centering that stopped it getting a 10. But still, nice card. Okay, coming up next is Dedeno GX. So I graded this, my, my son liked this card, so I graded it for him and yeah, Gem Mint 10. Can't complain about that. If I just look at the borders, yeah. I don't know, the centering isn't amazing, but must be within the realm to get a 10. Um, so yeah, okay. And this must be the Pikachu. It got a near mint seven. Wow, okay, okay. I bought this card raw, I don't know, 15, 20 pounds, something like that. So I wasn't expecting exactly expecting it to get a 10, but still there must be some kind of uh, significant imperfection for it to be, you know, out of the realms of like a nine or a 10. But if you look at that artwork, it is so cool and obviously quite an old card as well. So that's definitely one for the collection. Right, let's skip on to this stack of Japanese Southern Islands. So first up, Butterfree, Mint 9. Good start. We have a look at the centering here. You can see there's, uh, there's definite Kind of centering issues here the border on this side is a lot thicker than that side so that wouldn't be within the realms of a 10. next up pidgeot another nine okay honestly the artwork on these southern i this uh the southern island set is so cool so unique so light near mint eight for the ratake okay yeah that i mean look at that that's that's that border there is so thin compared to the other side any imperfections? Don't see much whitening, so, okay. Okay, not bad. Next up, we've got the Nimin 7 with the Jigglypuff. Wow, there must have been something not quite right with this one. I 
Again, I don't see major issues. It's, it's more about the centering, but that, that seven probably seems a bit harsh, but still very cool card. And obviously it's nice to have the whole set graded. Uh, the Primate, near mint eight, okay. Let's go to the Tentacruel, Gem Mint 10. That is awesome. And look at that, that Dragonite in the background. The artwork's so cool. So the, the set comes with postcards and kind of shows uh, all of the, like a big picture and then the cards take uh, like a small element of that picture within the artwork. So um, yeah, nice little subtleties in the, in the card design there. Um, Let's go through. Onyx, my absolute favorite Pokemon and the Gem Mint 10. Get in there. Buzzing with that one. That is so, so cool. Yeah, look, we can see the Pidgeot and then there's the Dragonite in the distance. Very clever. Next up, Executor, Gem Mint 10. Loving it. Very nice. Okay, and Lickitung, Gem Mint 10, what a, what a roll. Three of them there. It's crazy because these cards, obviously they came from the same pack and the, the, the kind of diversity in the, uh, in the scores is just crazy. And, and anywhere from a seven to a 10, there's the Mint 9 with the Lapras, little Dratini swimming in the water, happy as can be. Very nice and Ivy Sword, Gem Mint 10, okay. Keeping it going. War Tortle, Mint 9. Again, very nice card. What are we on to now? Ah, the Hollows, okay, here we go. Vile Plume. So these are the, the Hollow, is, it's the reverse Hollow that you get with this set. So Mint 9, gotta be happy with that. Very nice. And Lady Bar, Mint 9. Okay. Okay, with the hollows, anything, uh, yeah, a 9 or a 10, you've got to be happy with. And, there, and there's the 8 with the Marrow. But look, look at that border on the side. Really, um, the centering, really quite poor, so it's understandable um, why that wouldn't achieve a mint grade. Let's see, Slow King, Mint 9. Happy Psyduck and Bellsprout next to him. Two more to go. The Mew, Mint 9. This is, this is, in my opinion, the best card of the set. Uh, it's just so cool. You've got, there's a little Charizard hanging in the background, the Pidgeot. Such a, um, yeah, beautiful card. Very happy with the Mint 9 there. And Togepi. Mint 9 again, again, just awesome artwork. You can see, if you see up close, there's a couple of imperfections, uh, just a little dots here with the printing imperfections that, uh, yeah, that would, again, stop it from being a Gem Mint 10. It's very hard on reverse hollows to get, to get Gem Mint 10, um, but happy with the nine. So let's get to the main event. I've been absolutely buzzing for this this first edition booster so just to give you a bit of background so yeah i think this took place when was it may last year something like that it might be late, late april so yeah something like that so full transparency the pack cost two and a half thousand dollars i mean that's a hell of a lot of money at the time uh but you know poker ever was getting a lot of exposure and it was it was just good to be a part of i think and so i, I kind of bit the bullet and went for it and uh Obviously, we've how we saw Pokemon explode last year, and Logan Paul selling first edition packs for eleven thousand and beyond, and everything just went absolutely insane. So, in hindsight, it's probably quite a good deal. But let's see what grades the cards get, and see if you know uh, it was worth the money. Basically, I was lucky enough to pull, as I mentioned, uh, pull the Hollow Nido King. So you know, there's twelve Hollows in that box, and. Uh, uh, so I was lucky to get that. So that was a very good start, but let's see how they grade. So coming up first is Gem Mint 10, Psychic Energy. Great start. Decent centering on that. You see there's, border's pretty good. And obviously there must be no imperfections for it to get that grade. Um, 
very good start. Okay, even these energies, they're, you know, they're worth uh, at least a hundred pounds, uh, especially as a gem mint 10 for an energy card, it's crazy. Next up, and another one, fighting energy, gem mint 10. Awesome. Okay, good. Who's coming next? Bill, gem mint 10. Look at that, that is, uh, it's funny how excited you get with a uh, with a bog standard trainer card like Bill when it's first edition. Um, but yeah, you can't argue with a, with a perfect 10. Wow, what a streak. Okay, plus power, gem mint 10. <laughs> that is, I'm a bit, <laughs> okay, a bit plus for words here. This is, um, Yeah, not expecting four in a row. That's insane. Can we do it again? Vulpix, gem in 10, what a card. This is uh, obviously a very popular Pokemon. First edition, perfect 10, wow. That's a great one for the collection. What's in about that? That is insane. These are, just, these are, how lucky to get cards with great centering like this. No imperfections. Tangler, there's the mint nine, the streak ends. Okay. But that's still still worth a worth a lot. Uh still a mint card. Can't complain. Okay, Tangler. Who's coming next? Sandshrew, another gem mint 10. Back on it. Lovely. Okay. This is mad, okay. Dojuo, gem mint 10, keeping it coming. This is insane. What is going on? <laughs> Three left, okay. Jugon, gem mint 10. Unbelievable. This is absolutely, <laughs> only one nine at the minute. You know, for a pack this old, that is crazy. So I know what these last two cards uh, will be. The bottom one will be the uh, the Nido King, and uh, this. So this was the uncommon. The next card I got is a Kadabra. Let's. Um, let's oh no, Nido. Okay, so this is no. This is the Nido King. Fine. So yeah, the best cards I got out of the pack were the Nido King and the Kadabra. So looking at it. I did, as I said, I didn't expect this to be a 10 because if you look at the centering, it's much thicker. Look at the thickness on the bottom compared to the top. Um, so the centering just, yeah, even if there was no kind of edgeware imperfections, uh, I'd be disappointed with anything less than a nine, but let's see. Mint nine. That is great. That is awesome. Any hollow first edition base set that is mint is an absolute yeah, keeper for your collection. That is, um, wow, I've waited a long time to see what this would grade. Um, and yeah, the prediction was right. Happy with that, but can't, can't, can't not be happy with that. So this one will be the Kadabra. I can see it already. It's Gen Mint 10. <laughs> that is an awesome card as well. Wow. Look at that, just absolutely perfect. So these two was what I was most excited about. Probably in terms of value because of their great, they're probably a similar value. Like that Kadabra is, it's a sought after card. Um, and Nido King, it's not, it's not, it's not the worst holo you can get. It's not the best as well, but um, yeah, interesting. Yeah, it'll be good to um, take a look at some of the values of these and see how it compares to my initial investment. I think I've done well, I'm, I'm sure I've done well. With all those tens, unbelievable. I mean, I, mean, I must have. Um, wow, so cool. As I say, I waited a long time to get these cards back and uh, can't be happier with those. E do you know what, even this, uh, even this Pikachu that got seven, it's still a beautiful card. Sometimes it's just about Appreciating the artwork, no matter what grades it gets. But um, yeah, great. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate the um, uh, you getting involved and seeing me open this box.